Hello everyone and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program. Uh, so last week, or last time I should say, we took a look at the new career mode and I played a little bit more of it. Um, I've done a bunch of missions, unlocked some science, I'll show you where I am progress wise, and then we're going to do what is a very important mission to me. So first off, here's my new tech tree. We unlocked um, basic rocketry, I have unlocked survivability which gives me a smaller engine, radial parachutes and landing struts. We've got a uh, nose cone, winglets, radial decouplers. We've got uh, another engine, some more fuel and another booster. And we have 42 um, science, so I'm only a couple away actually from unlocking the next tier, which of course I'm going to pick this one because struts, they're the most important thing ever. Um, so what is the mission that I'm going to do? I am going to go and try and land on the moon. And why is this important to me? Aside from the science involved, um, it's important to me because so far this entire time I've been playing, I've been playing with Jeb and Jeb is still alive and he's still kicking. And I'm nervous because I want to send Jeb. I want him to be the first one on the, on the moon. But at the same time, I'm afraid that uh, he might die. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, I'm going to put four of these guys on here. Here's, here's the trick. I was having a lot of problems with launching and the biggest problem uh, involves the fact that I don't have struts. So it's sort of very unstable and, uh, it causes me to lose control of the ship. So I've had to sort of worry about symmetry for everything on this thing. So here's the thing. I've done a mission where we have gone to the moon and we've orbited it. Orbited. Uh, we've we've done an orbit around the moon. We came back. We got plenty of science. This is the ship I used. It's essentially there's no sort of um, staging like onion or or asparagus because I don't have fuel lines. So it's just essentially these six rockets on the outside. Then they drop off and there's the one in the middle and then there's another one and then there's a last like a final one here. I hope this is enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually remove these and we're going to add these. So it's just a little more fuel and hopefully that'll help us out. Uh, so let's just save this. We're going to call this the Lunar Lander 4. And we're going to launch and we're going to go to the moon. We're going to try. And Jeb's either going to live or he's going to die and you're all going to get to watch. Hopefully, hopefully he lives. Now, in the event that we land and we don't have enough fuel to take off again, that's why I've included these uh, antennas so I can at least transmit the science back. Now, uh, just to bring it up, there is a lot... Hold on, we're going to adjust this so we're not wasting our fuel. Okay. Uh, there is a lot that I had wrong about... Um, about career mode in the way science works. So just a few corrections off the top of my head that I, I made an error last time. I said that uh, the science you gained was cumulative. That's incorrect. You are spending science. Uh, so that sort of is something you have to keep in mind when you're planning your tech trees uh, and the advancement that you're going through with. What else? The percentage when you pull up data is basically the percent of data that you can send to your space base, your your Kerbal Space Center through the antenna. So I guess the idea is, is it incentivizes you to actually make return trips as opposed to just sit, sending something over with an antenna and just shooting it back. From what I've noticed, and I can't confirm, it seems like if you do repeat missions, you there's a decline in the science that you get back from that, so you can't just like grind the same thing over and over. At least that's what it feels like. It feels like once you do something the first time, that's when you're going to get the most science for it. So it, it sort of entices you to continuously explore. Now we've done our roll here, albeit it was sort of not intentional. I'm trying to keep it under 200. Well, we're actually coming up on a thousand, so we can pick it up a little bit. I'm actually trying to be more fuel efficient than usual. Uh, I assume the spinning has something to do with having all of these stages. And I guess I'm okay with it as long as it stops. 
it's not stopping. Okay, it's getting worse. Oh no, this this could be bad. I, I have to say, career mode has really like re-sparked my uh, desire to play this game, and I think a big part of it is one having the goal is great, but on top of that. Um, it forces me, for some reason, like, I'm way more protective of, like, Jeb right now than I've ever been playing this game in over a year. Uh, before, when Kerbals died, I just didn't care. Now it's like I'm designing ships with, like, fail safes, so worst case scenario, I can get him out of there. What happened? Where was the motor? The engine? Oh, no. That's not good. I don't know what we're going to do. What's our max altitude here? Oh, wow. Not bad. Okay, so let's wait until we're above the atmosphere. We'll put it at, like, here. Give me a maneuver. I, I don't know. We're going to try it anyway, I guess. Let's hope we get grabbed by the... up. Oh, there we go. There we go. So what are we looking at? We're looking at a 1 minute 20 second burn. I don't think we're going to have enough fuel for that. But we're going to try. Okay, we got that going. Let's speed things up just a little bit. That was upsetting. I don't know what happened. I don't know where my motor, my my motor, my engine went. Let's hope we've got a minute worth of fuel. I don't think we do, though, looking at this. I suspect we're not going to get all the way there. However, we do have this final stage, which we can use to get back, so it's not the end of the world. Just the failure of a mission. I was also wondering if it was worth... So here's now what I would do is you do crew report, right? My scientific value, 0.3, that's like nothing. And it's because I've been in space many times. I'm going to keep the data anyway. From what I can tell, it overwrites. Uh, so if you um, wanted... Whoop, if you wanted uh, different data, you'd have to sort of override the previous data. 14 seconds, no way that's happening. Okay, we lost that. Let's, um... This should be good, though. Nine seconds? We could do that. Let's just slow it down. Slow it down. Slow. I know this is a little off, so I don't, hopefully it'll... Come on. At all? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Well, this is far from perfect. Here we go. Let's speed things up and head out to space. Now, I believe what I could do then is... Hold on. Review report. Transmit the data. It's going to use some of my charge. That's fine. Because it'll it'll recharge again when I fire the engines. So at least we get something out of this. Now, normally I would just send them back home. Because I fear for Jeb. But for the sake of the video, we're going to try and land anyway. There might not be enough fuel to send him back home. But as long as he's alive, I'm okay. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I totally messed up! I fast-forwarded too much. Oh, that's such a bummer. I don't think I can spare the fuel to try that again. So here's what we'll do. We'll speed things up. Oh my god, I did it again. Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Never mind, we're good. Just don't speed things up too much, Rob. 
One more. Now slow it down, slow it down. One more. Here we go. There we go. I'm gonna get us to the periapsis. Actually, we shouldn't have to do that. So let's just head over to our... We have a very regular orbit right now. I hope this is... I don't know if this is going to be enough. Yeah, we're not... I mean, maybe we'll have enough to land, hopefully. I think we might have enough to land. There we go. Got a little over half a tank. Our electric charge uh, has not gone back up. Nope, in fact, it's going down. What's that about? Does this not generate any... Oh, it doesn't generate any uh, electricity. Oh, that's not good. And it seems like whenever I move the ship, oh no, we burn through some electricity. So this is not going to end well. Jeb, we're going to try our best. I want you to know you've been a good astronaut. Let's speed things up just a little bit. Now it would be really dangerous to overdo the speed. The moon definitely looks more detailed, at least from this far away. It's a very dangerous angle to come in. Look at Jeb, he's so happy. Now what sort of information would we have here? Crew report. So over the moon, 5.6, much better. We'll keep that for now. We might not get a whole lot of out of this just because we might not be able to send them back I'm gonna keep the atmosphere the not the atmosphere the altitude we're gonna wait until about 80 I guess before I'm gonna start caring okay let's just get into a general I gotta like tap this thing I don't want to go through my power here Really light on this. <laughs> Don't want to go through the fuel too quickly. We do need to start slowing down. It'll also help correct the angle that we're coming in. See, it's going to hopefully at one point just be directly under us. You can see here the little uh, retrograde icon moving north, which is good. That's where we want it. Just don't want to slow down too much too quickly. Let's speed up just a little bit and maybe get to 40,000 meters. This is the most stressful landing ever, just because I don't want Jeb to die. Now we might have enough for an abort at this point. We could hit the engines, get back into an orbit, get him back, and just get us enough so that we're in the atmosphere of Kerbin, but Jeb does not look like he wants to turn back, so we're not turning back. I'd like to get to around 200 meters a second soon. Sooner rather than later. I 
I also would just like to prove that with that level of the tech tree, you can land on the moon because, you know, I personally wasn't um, so sure that it was possible. It's getting larger. 100 meters would be good. And then we'll wait until we're closer to go beyond under that. All right. Speed up things just a little bit. Maybe till we get to 20. Great. Let's get us back to 100 meters a second. As you can see, we're almost at the polar north of uh, on our, what is this thing? This gimbal. But we're also running pretty low on fuel, so I'm worried. That's weird. The button to, there we go. My key for lowering the fuel wasn't working there. I'm wondering if it's best to save just like a short burst and then right towards the bottom just like hit those engines and slow down and it'd be a rough landing but hopefully it would survive. Because 13,000 13, meters if we run out of fuel up here this thing's just going to pick up speed and then it's going to boom. I'm going to send out my yep, the lander legs. Okay, Let's speed things up a bit. Okay. Let's see if we get some sense of scale. We're pretty close. We're going to want to start slowing down now. Come on. You can do it. We're going to last that, that last... 4.2 of fuel right right when we get close to the bottom. Okay, hit it. Cut it off. We have 0.6 fuel. I need to save it for like the last few meters. We're going too fast. We're going to crash at this point. Now, we're out. EVA, jump. Rockets, yes, bounce up, come on. Wait, did that thing survive? I think it survived. We're gonna use our rockets to slow ourselves down. This was a last second eject, this is what I did. I thought, I figured worst case scenario. And now I can use his jetpacks to slow his descent because it's like our last minute backup fuel. Come on. It would also be nice to get him to go. F he is still falling pretty quickly, but I think we've got it. Let's try and keep him close so we don't have to walk him too far. Oh, Jeb, you're surviving. This is amazing. Perfect. Oh, I can't believe we did it. And this thing survived. I can't believe that either. We're falling pretty quickly. There's home. We did it. I'm so happy we did it. So let's um, jump him up and get him in there. Just nudge down a little bit. Come on. There we go. Get him inside. So we've got no fuel. He's not coming back. We're going through power. I'm not sure why. Let's review our crew report. Uh, 
Let's keep the data. Let's try and transmit it, but it's not going to work. We don't have a whole lot of power. But I'm wondering if it's... Oops. I wonder if it's a... Partial. So, like, let's see what happens. Not enough electricity charge. Okay, that's what I figured. Well, we landed anyway. That's great. Let's get him out of there. Now, if I right click him, is there any. Ah, take surface sample. Oh, and there's an EVA report. I didn't know about that. Look at that. <gasps> Look at how much science it's worth. Oh. Let's plant a flag, because we can. Yes. Oh, man. Um, Kerbal Lunar 1. Jeb's new home. Because, I mean, it looks like you're not going anywhere, Jeb. Uh, take a surface sample. 120! Oh, my goodness. If only we had enough fuel to get him back. Or even to just transmit that would be half. Keep that data. Oh, man. So now what happens if I jump up and get back on the ship? Grab on. Hop in. And if I were to go to... Oh, review storage data. So I can go through these and then send them. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right. Well, this was uh, somewhat successful in that... Uh, yeah, we'll keep data, keep data. We did land. Jeb is safe. Maybe I will now care so much that I will do a rescue? We'll abort that. That's not going to work. We've got no fuel. Oh, no. Whoops. Don't break. Don't break. Okay. I can roll them over here. So we don't... There you go. Now he doesn't have to worry about jumping up anymore. I mean, I guess... What was I going to do? There's no way this thing was coming back anyway. We can even, yeah, set that off. Okay, let's go back to our space center. Oh, I'm throttled up. Now, hopefully that's enough just to get to the next stage of my tech tree. Let's see. 43 still. Did we not get anything from that? That transmission in space? Or was it so little that nothing really happened? So then, uh, let's see. Well, then there you have it. We had a semi-successful trip to the moon. We didn't really advance the tech tree at all. But we will soon. And once we do, I'm getting this. And once we've got uh, struts, that's definitely going to help. And the tricoupler will also help in terms of uh, being able to add more fuel tanks to the ship. So we could definitely do a better moon trip. Uh, hopefully one that will allow us to come back. I mean, nothing else here seems super important. The fuel tank would be nice, but not necessary. None of this stuff will really help. I guess the Stay Putnik could be useful for making something that constantly grabs data and sends it back. But for that, we need solar panels, which I haven't seen. There's a battery. That's cool. And it's rechargeable. There's a science junior. So I guess this all helps with gathering science. But, um... No form of solar panels yet, or, or any sort of generator, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you learned something, um, or maybe you saw something I did wrong that you could make me learn and, and tell me about in the comments. Uh, however much time passes between this video and the next, I hope you uh, enjoy it, make the most of it, because it makes it that much better. And I hope to see you all next time for the next Kerbal Space Program. Bye, everyone.